Welcome to Aeronet's Visual Simulation Training Program for the Airbus A320. The oxygen system is comprised of a cockpit fixed system, a cabin fixed system, and a portable oxygen system. The cockpit fixed oxygen system will supply oxygen to the flight crew in the event of loss of cabin pressurization, smoke, or toxic fumes. The full face oxygen masks give protection to the user's eyes, nose, and mouth, and may be used while wearing eyeglasses. A microphone is built into the mask. The fixed cabin oxygen system will supply oxygen to the cabin crew and passengers in the event of loss of cabin pressurization. The portable oxygen bottles may be used by the cabin crew in case of a fixed oxygen system failure. They may also be used for emergency medical purposes. The smoke hoods give crew members vision protection and an oxygen supply while fighting an onboard fire or in the case of toxic smoke or gases. The cockpit fixed oxygen system contains the following components. A high pressure cylinder with an attached pressure regulator, high and low pressure protection and indicators, a supply solenoid valve controlled by the flight crew to allow a downstream flow of oxygen to the low pressure distribution manifold, and quick donning masks stowed near each crew member's seat. The high pressure oxygen cylinder is secured in a quick release clamp in the avionics compartment. A pressure regulator is attached to the bottle, which regulates the distribution pressure at approximately 80 PSI. Built into the regulator are a manual on-off valve and a direct reading pressure gauge. If the pressure in the bottle becomes too high, a frangible disc set to a pressure of 2500 to 2775 PSI ruptures to release the oxygen overboard. If the pressure in the low pressure supply system reaches 175 PSI, a pressure relief valve opens. In either case, a green overboard discharge disc on the lower forward left-hand side of the fuselage will blow out to show a yellow indicator. Oxygen flows from the pressure regulator through the supply valve. The supply valve is opened by pushing the crew supply push button switch on the overhead oxygen panel. When the valve is open, the white off light goes out. Oxygen then flows through the low pressure distribution manifold to the four crew quick donning masks. Touch the crew supply push button switch to open the supply valve. The mask is donned by first pulling the mask out of the stowage compartment. As the left door opens, the oxygen supply valve in the compartment opens, allowing oxygen to flow to the demand regulator on the mask. Squeezing the red grips together inflates the harness, which is then placed over the user's head. Releasing the red grips deflates the harness and holds the mask against the user's face. Note, there may be a protective plastic film over the mask window which can be easily removed. If required, the emergency pressure selector can be selected to emergency, which creates a positive overpressure to the mask in order to eliminate condensation or to prevent smoke, odor, or ashes from entering the mask. Regardless of the position of this selector, positive pressure breathing is automatically provided above 30,000 feet cabin altitude. The normal 100% selector is a two-position selector normally set to the 100% position to deliver 100% oxygen to the mask. Moving the selector to normal 
gives a mixture of ambient air and oxygen to the user, the content varying with cabin altitude. Above a cabin altitude of 35,000 feet, the mask will deliver 100% oxygen regardless of the position of this selector. When the mask is returned to the stowage compartment and the doors are closed, an oxygen on flag is visible. This indicates the supply valve in the stowage compartment is still open. To close the valve and reset the system, press the reset test button. The flag will disappear. An oxygen flow blinker is installed on each stowage compartment. A yellow disc is visible through the blinker when oxygen is flowing to the mask. During the cockpit geographic check, the oxygen system and mask microphone are tested while the mask is in the stowage compartment. First ensure the oxygen crew supply switch is on. On the audio control panel, the interphone reception knob is selected on and adjusted. And the interphone rad switch is selected to interphone. The cockpit loudspeaker is turned up. Confirm the normal 100% selector is set to 100%. Push the reset test control slide and observe the yellow cross in the flow blinker. Next, simultaneously push the reset test control slide and the red emergency pressure selector, which causes oxygen to flow through the mask. This is confirmed by observing the yellow disc in the flow blinker and by the sound through the cockpit loudspeaker. After completing the check of the oxygen masks, Check the ECAM door page to confirm the oxy low pressure message is not displayed. The oxygen pressure indication is taken from the pressure transmitter attached to the oxygen bottle. It will be shown in green when the pressure is greater than or equal to 400 psi. The indication is in amber when the pressure is less than 400 psi. An amber half frame appears when the oxygen pressure is less than 1500 psi. When the pressure is below 1200 psi, the crew must refer to FCOM3 operating limitations to ensure that the remaining quantity is not below the minimum required for the flight. The regulator low pressure indication will appear in amber if the pressure at the low pressure distribution manifold is less than 50 psi. The oxy indication is amber when pressure goes below 400 psi, low oxygen pressure is detected, or the oxygen crew supply push button switch on the overhead panel is selected off. It becomes green after the oxygen crew supply push button switch is selected on. Touch the oxygen crew supply push button switch, then the right arrow to continue. The cabin fixed oxygen system supplies oxygen to the passengers and cabin crew utilizing chemical oxygen generators. The oxygen generators are located in special compartments over the passenger seats, cabin attendant seats, each galley, and in the lavatories and include two, three, or four attached masks. In case of cabin depressurization, an altitude pressure switch set between 13,500 and 14,000 feet automatically triggers the oxygen mask compartment doors to open. Illumination of the passenger sys on light on the overhead oxygen panel indicates that the passenger oxygen system has been activated. Instructions for using the masks are automatically played over the passenger address system. After the masks fall out of the emergency oxygen mask containers, they hang on lanyards 
within reach of the passengers and crew. Oxygen generation begins when the first mask is pulled towards the face, releasing a pin attached to the lanyard, which starts the chemical generation. The flow of oxygen is indicated by a green strip on the flow indicator, and the user will receive oxygen under pressure until the generator runs out after approximately 13 minutes. The oxygen generator is housed in a stainless steel container with a thermal insulation between the core and the container wall. A thermal indicator on the end of the generator turns from yellow to black when the generator is exhausted. There is a built-in filter between the core and the outlet and a safety valve fitted to the container to protect the generator against high internal pressure. If there is a failure of the automatic control for the compartment doors, the guarded mask manual on push button switch may be pressed to activate the system. In its normal guarded auto position, the automatic activation of the compartment doors should occur. Illumination of the passenger sys on light on the overhead oxygen panel indicates that the passenger oxygen system has been activated. The light will remain on until it has been reset by the timer reset push button switch located on the overhead maintenance panel. If any of the compartment doors fail to open, a manual release tool found under all cabin attendant jump seats may be used to open them. Insert the pin end of the manual release tool into the small hole in the compartment door to release the unlatching mechanism, which will allow the door to open and the oxygen masks to fall out. The portable oxygen bottle allows cabin attendants to administer first aid oxygen to passengers and, if required, to walk through the cabin after a loss of cabin pressurization. They are stored in each mandatory cabin attendant position. There is a mask attached to each bottle and two calibrated outlets. A high flow outlet of four liters per minute lasts approximately 60 minutes and a low flow outlet of two liters per minute lasts about 120 minutes. Smoke hoods are stored in a vacuum sealed yellow plastic bag in containers in the cockpit by the forward cabin attendant station and by the last row of seats on the aircraft. They provide crew members with protection for vision and breathing while fighting fire and in case of smoke or gases. The hood contains a chemical air regeneration system at the back of the hood. An oral nasal mask allows inhalation of regenerated air via the inhalation valve and it returns the exhaled breath to the regeneration system. The hood can be used from 15 to 30 minutes depending on the crew member's workload.